JBN, we keep you informed. Be glad same dead. Residents celebrate death of Preke Boy. Please remember to subscribe, like, share. Leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. The bloody reign of Delano Preke Boy Wilmot as one of Jamaica's most feared gangsters came to an abrupt end in Hamity District, St. James, when he was killed in an early morning gunfight with a police military team. Residents in the district are breathing a sigh of relief after the 25-year-old was cut down in the gun battle. Reports are that members of the Jamaica Defense Force, JDF, carried out a pre-dawn raid in a densely wooded area of the district known as Goodwill, where Wilmoth, who was the leader of the notorious retrieve gang, was cornered in a makeshift tent. In a bid to escape, he opened fire on the soldiers. However, the combat team, which had reportedly traveled two hours under the cover of darkness to reach the location, was ready and waiting for him. Wilmot was allegedly cut down in a hail of bullets following a brief exchange of gunfire. The M16 rifle with a magazine containing several rounds of ammunition was seized. It was a well-coordinated, intelligence-driven operation, and we must commend the soldiers and the police officers who once again proved to a criminal that he cannot match the tactical expertise of the security forces, said Superintendent Vernon Ellis, commander of the St. James Police. I hope the law-abiding citizens in the area can now live in peace with him now out of their lives. Residents who live in the proximity of Wilmot Slayer said they were surprised that he had taken refuge almost in their backyard. Some residents said that Wilmot had created a seeding network in the general Cambridge area where, under the threat of death, they were recruited as scouts while others were tasked with bringing him food, water, and women. At night, he would regularly be seen in various communities with a rifle over his shoulder. Following the fatal shooting, several residents in Amity expressed joy that Wilmot was actually dead. Thank God, me can finally walk in peace at night time now. Because a pricky, me have here living in my house and me can't come out, one resident said. That man is a dangerous man, and him patrol the area at night time like him a police. Everybody afraid, because him determined who can come on the street and who is staying at the yard. The resident added, everybody glad same dead, everybody. Especially the woman, them and the pitney them. It's that like the whole area goes down when you see evening and nighttime chipping. While residents of Amity were celebrating Wilmot's death, those in Mother Lane, where he originally resided, were tense, especially with the soldiers carrying out a series of snap raids in the area. Mother Lane is in the proximity of the Cambridge Police Station. An elderly woman was a lone voice of defiance as she celebrated the news of Wilmot's demise. Imami family, but him caused too much pain for you on a mother lane, said the woman. Because of him, soldier and police have stopped terrorizing the young people in the area. As you open your mouth and see you come from mother lane, you start get bad luck from other people. Wilmot was listed as wanted, following his alleged involvement in the June 26 murder of Mark Williams. At that time, Wilmot was reportedly answering to a gang leader, Ryan Ratty Peterkin, and his crony, Richard Cruz Anderson, who were both killed by the security forces. Wilmot has also been linked to the murder of Alistair Godfrey Catadupo, and he and his gang have been linked to more than a dozen other murders, including the shooting and wounding of a member of the JDF last year. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.